John McElroy is on the path to recovery. He's been addicted to alcohol for the last 25 years. I had a bright future. I was well educated, uh, promising uh, musical career, uh, but the drink took over. Divorced twice in six years, John says alcohol was destroying his life. That's what alcohol does. It destroys, it destroys lives. John says he was broken and lost, muddling through life for the next seven years before he did the unspeakable. He tried to commit suicide. I attempted suicide when I was 34, and we won't go into the details of that, but suffice it to say it was a miracle that I didn't die. I should have been dead. It was then he realized there was a reason he should be alive. With no experience with rehab, John found himself at Face City looking for help. Face City has given me motivation. They've given me opportunities to prove to myself, to others, and to God that I'm still vital. Faith City also helps single mothers get back on their feet, along with feeding and clothing the homeless, all without the help of federal funding. The most important thing we can do is introduce them to Jesus, so we don't want that taken away from us. And so in order to keep that, we rely on private donations. And one way you can help is to donate or take part in their fundraisers, such as the Empty Bowl event. The Empty Bowl event is an international event. It's done all over the world. Last year when we had our event, Finland was having their event. So it's kind of neat that we're all doing this together to raise funds to provide for the hungry. Another resource of Faith City, giving their graduates the option to go to college on their dime. Matt Hamilton, Pro News 7.